Hi folks, Alex here. Our soils don't get as much press as our climate, but they certainly matter as much. Over one quarter of the world's soils are degraded. Why and how can we fix it? This is what we'll discuss in today's video. The health of our soil plays a critical role in the health of the food we eat. It is like a sponge that soaks up water and nutrients. If we keep squeezing that sponge without giving it time to absorb water again, it dries out and becomes useless. Today, our soils have been so squeezed that it is leading to less nutritious food and harming ecosystems. Constant farming and poor practices squeeze the life out of it, leaving it dry and depleted. Like a sponge, healthy soil needs time to regenerate and retain moisture and nutrients. So, what exactly is soil degradation? It is the decline in soil quality due to erosion, overfarming, poor management, compaction, and contamination by chemical overload. This process happens slowly, but its impact is massive. Why is this happening? Soil erosion is like a thief sneaking away with our precious topsoil. It is a slow but relentless process that can turn fertile fields into barren wastelands. It can be caused by water, heavy rainfalls or flooding, or strong winds, especially in regions with sparse vegetation. Over farming is like eating all the snacks without restocking. Eventually, you're left with empty shelves, or in this case, nutrient-poor soil. Over the past century, agriculture has shifted towards monocropping, where the same crop is grown year after year. Using too many chemicals is like trying to fix a leaky faucet with a sledgehammer. Sure, it might stop the leak, but at what cost to the surrounding environment? Heavy use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides can result in soil that is stripped of its nutrients and organic matter. Water erosion accounts for about 50% of soil degradation globally, while wind erosion contributes about 25%. Annually, an estimated 24 billion tons of fertile soil are lost globally due to erosion. Roughly 15% is due to chemical degradation, while physical degradation contributes about 5% and other factors 5% as well. This means that human activities account for about 25% of the soil degradation. Looking at the four root causes of unsustainability presented in previous videos, the two main issues are that we systematically degrade nature by physical means, and we systematically increase the concentration of substances created by society so much that nature cannot cope. When the soil suffers, so does the food we grow. A 2004 US study found that nutrients in 43 garden crops, fruits and vegetables were up to 38% lower on average compared to the 1950s. One study found that you would have to eat 8 oranges today to get the same amount of vitamin A that your grandparents got from one single orange. Declines in magnesium, calcium, iron and protein content in crops have been linked directly to soil depletion. This means that we're consuming more calories but fewer nutrients. So before we get into solutions, one thing we should all consider is getting good supplements every day to make up for the lack of nutrients in our food. Vitamin B2 and magnesium especially, but also vitamins A, C, D, E, calcium and omega-3s. Now the good news. Sustainable farming practices, like regenerative agriculture, aim to restore the health of our soil while improving yields and food nutrition. Crop rotation and cover crops are like the soil's personal trainers, giving it a balanced diet and regular exercise. By using crop rotation, planting different crops year to year, farmers can naturally replenish nutrients in the soil. Cover crops, like clover and rye, protect the soil from erosion, improve its structure and add organic matter back. Adding compost and organic matter is like giving your soil a spa day. It rejuvenates and enriches it, 
turning tired soil into a vibrant living ecosystem. Studies show that regenerative farms can increase soil carbon by 78% in just six years. Agroforestry and permaculture practices are like the wise old grandparents of farming. They integrate trees and diverse plants, creating a harmonious system that supports soil health and biodiversity. It's like turning your farm into a thriving community where everyone looks out for each other. The trees provide shade, improve soil moisture, and reduce erosion. Meanwhile, integrating livestock in these systems can restore soil health through natural fertilization and grazing. In fact, studies show that well-managed grazing systems can improve soil organic matter by as much as 12% in just a few years, helping to sequester carbon and reduce the need for chemical inputs. Soil health is the foundation of our food system. By shifting to sustainable and regenerative practices, we can restore the planet's most important resource, our soil. These methods aren't just a solution for better crops, they're a solution for a better future for all of us. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe and share it with one, two or five people. It takes me a few days to produce a video like this one, so people who support me on Patreon help me out a lot. If you would like to become a patron as well, you can choose the amount and you can stop anytime. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.